What's up guys, this is Nock V and welcome to the seventh and final video in my first full track production video series. This one is probably going to be pretty short and sweet since there's not really much left to do except for looking over the final master and doing the radio mix arrangement. Now I know this video is going to be a little bit jumbled up because I go between looking at the mastering of the track as well as doing the radio mix arrangement. But one of the first things I do is load up Isotope Insight which allows me to see the loudness levels of the track. The main thing I'm interested in looking at is the LUFS value, which is the loudness unit's full scale. So what I'll usually do is check out the value that I get during the chorus of the track. Now with this value, the closer to zero you get, the louder the track is. So let's have a listen. So I'm getting around negative 4.5 to about negative 3.9 at the highest. Now this might be verging on a little bit too loud for a UK hardcore track. I did a little quick comparison between a few tracks like uh, And Dime Like by Searle, Hartshorn and Outforce, Reef Hideout by Voboy and Pendar, and Shady People by The Tweakers and Darren Styles. Now the loss value on these tracks tends to hover around negative 4.5 to negative 5, so I'm probably a little bit too loud in my track. I might go back and fix that up later, but I can't remember if I did. For now, I'm just going to work on the radio mix arrangement. If you're not familiar with the concept, electronic tracks, especially hardcore tracks, tend to come in two different structures, radio mixes and DJ friendly mixes. You might also hear it called extended mix. What I've done up until this point is the DJ friendly mix because it has the intro and outro structure at the beginning and end of the track. This is there for DJs to use when they mix tracks in and out of your track. When you're not listening to a track as part of a DJ set, you don't really need these parts and they tend to sound a bit boring, so they get left out in the radio mix. Personally, I've started only uploading radio mixes to Spotify and other streaming platforms. I only ever upload DJ friendly mixes on Beatport and Bandcamp. Anyways, to start on the radio mix, I usually click up here and then click clone to clone this arrangement, and I'll just name it Radio. Then I'll use the slice tool and cut this gigantic line across the entire first 16 bars of the track. Then just select the entire thing and just delete it. Missed a bit. Now I can select the entire track and just move it all the way over to the beginning. Missed more of it. There we go. Now I'm going to get rid of a few of the elements like the kick, crash, and sub drop just so I have the sweeps leading up. Apart from the underruns, that's sounding pretty good. Then I'm pretty much going to do the exact same thing for the ending of the track as well. Just slice everything after the chorus of the track and then just delete it. Now that probably ends a little bit too abruptly so I'm just going to add a kick and a crash there. Honestly, that's all there is to it. I can just export this now and that'll be the radio mix. And it appears I didn't really go back and fix any of the mastering because I've ran out of footage and I, this is pretty much it. I haven't done anything else. I think if I was to go back and fix it, I'd probably just like ease up on the compression in Newfangled Elevate, which would probably bring the loudness back to an acceptable level, but also bring back a little bit of clarity instead of sounding a little too overcompressed. Anyway, that's that pretty much just wraps this up. The track is pretty much 100% done. Um, I, I could go further and you know create cover art and uh, upload this through DistroKid, and that would kind of show the entire process from start to finish, like in terms of actually getting it onto platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. But I don't think that's really in the scope of of what I'm doing here. Next week, I'm going to upload a video, which is kind of an element by element breakdown of this track, as well as release the full project file for this track. So make sure you check that out. My intention with the full track series was to make a different genre each time. I've already started with a new track for the second series, which will be J-Core. 
even though my kind of J core is just UK hardcore with Japanese vocals. After that, I might do like future bass or something. As always, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support me, I do have a Patreon where you can get access to early releases, work in progress clips of all my tracks, as well as stems and project files for all the originals and bootlegs that I release. Check out the link in the description for that. I also have a Discord too, so if you want to join up and hang out, check out the link in the description for that too. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.